The largest conglomeration of reptiles and amphibians in Arizona history is happening this weekend at the Tucson Reptile and Amphibian Show and Sale. Mark Wolfson and some of his friends are joining us today. Mark, you brought some, uh, I say your friends with you. Yes, I did. And this would be one of them, right? This Who's is trying a to kind of bearded dragon who just, I guess he's scared of the camera. He's ready for his <laughs> close up. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this is the most common pet lizard uh, right now in the world. Oh, he just and shed something. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Lizards shed in pieces, where snakes shed in one whole piece. Okay. And, Am I okay uh, to kind of pick that up so people sure. can see? There we go. This Ooh. is what just happened. I don't and know if we can get a shot of this at all. That is and, really cool. Uh, there will be thousands of bearded dragons at the show, along with many thousands of other reptiles. Uh, the show's 50,000 square feet of reptiles for show and sale. We'll have displays of exotic animals from all over the world, a uh, larger collection of exotic venomous snakes and other wildlife than the San Diego Zoo. Wow. Uh, Reptile-wise. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's great for families and kids. Uh, We'll have a couple of petting zoos. And this petting zoo is a little bit different than going and like feeding the goats. What kind of things are the kids actually going to get to touch? Uh, they'll be able to pet, touch, deal with giant tortoises, giant monitor lizards, alligators, um, giant uh, snakes will be around. Of course, we're going to have experts there that will make sure that everything is perfectly safe. And is this for educational purposes or just for the sale? Or is it a little bit of both? It's both. Uh, most reptile shows around the country are purely vendors selling their captive bred animals from around uh, the world. Uh, my show is different in that we really do try to bring in the general public because how do people get to like reptiles? Mm -hmm. Well, we have to get everybody there first. Now, if somebody's thinking, I have uh, an animal of myself, a reptile, that I want to bring to the show, is that something we encourage? No. Okay. Do not bring your own reptiles to the show. They will not be allowed in. Uh, everything at the show is inspected and vetted. Uh, make sure there's no parasites, uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Well, we don't want him to take a, we want him to stay with us. <laughs> a tumble. Yeah, yes. a tumble. But this is, uh, he's not the, is it a he or a she? This is a he. He. He's not the only thing that you brought with us. I know, look, he's like, he's drawn to the cameras. <laughs> but you brought some other uh, friends <laughs> with you as well. Yep. He's about, uh, oh, two years old. Uh -huh. And they start out Can about I... this long. Oh, yeah. These and they like grow these? very yeah. fast. And he's a, he's a fast mover, but he seems very, like, docile. He is. They're, uh, they're, that's the reason they're one of the most uh, common pet lizards on the market. And do you notice that you change a lot of people's preconceived notions of reptiles, that they're just scary creatures yeah. that are going to attack you after they come to a show like this? Yes. Um, reptiles are not slimy. They're <laughs> dry and soft and, in general, pretty friendly. Uh, you wouldn't want to go pick up a rattlesnake. Right. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, That's a good rule of thumb. And even this is how maybe you start out with something cute and cuddly like this. Oh, look at these little turtles. They don't even look real. They're so cute. I know. These are baby leopard tortoises oh. uh, from southern Africa. Yeah, he'd probably walk right off the table there. Oh. He's a fast mover, too. Yes. They're two to three months old. And how big will they get? These are the fourth largest tortoise in the world. Okay. They can get to up to 80 pounds, but that would be rare. That would be rare. Uh, I have a female in my backyard um, that is about this big, about 50% larger than a full-grown desert tortoise. Mm -hmm. And she's been laying eggs for the last five years or so. They dig, they dig a special nest, fill it with their eggs, usually about six to 10, cover it back up so it's invisible, and then the next year during the monsoon season, the little baby tortoises uh, dig out of their hole, and that's where these guys came from. Oh, that is so cute. Look at him, and there he goes. And what other activities will you have there? For, oh, for kids. Oh, look, they just fell on its back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he, he's, uh, he's supposed to be that way. We, no, sure no. We flip he's him right. like, it's so cute. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm gotten uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, they'll, as I mentioned, there's the petting zoo. Mm -hmm. There's also going to be a fossil dig for kids put on by the T-Rex Museum. There will be uh, many photo opportunities with Tucson Reptile Rescue, with 
other uh, vendors that will let you pose with various animals. Well, I don't want to run out of time to bring the big uh, friend that you brought with you. So if Kathy can help us, uh, we'll put these guys back in their cage. Mm -hmm. There we go. This okay. is actually a one-year-old albino Burmese python. There we go. Uh, it's a very common pet snake, uh, one of the five largest snakes in the world. Wow. This one, again, is only one year old, and you can mm. see how big he is. Yes. He's getting ready to shed. That's why his color's a little bit dull. Uh, normally, they're quite bright. Uh, obviously, albinos wouldn't do too well in the uh, outside environment because they're easily seen by predators. Mm -hmm. uh, so albinos and various different color morphs of lots of different snakes and lizards and so forth have been bred in captivity because we find them very attractive. Right. I think this is so cool. And I think the show is going to be a big hit. It sounds like there's a lot of fun things to do, a lot of things to learn. So Mark and Kathy and all the friends that came with this morning, thank you so much for coming on the show. Well, we hope to see you, everybody, at the show. The uh, website is TucsonReptileShow.com, and all the information is there, but it's basically this Saturday and Sunday, 9.30 to 5 and 10 to 4. And you can meet more of these wonderful creatures at the Tucson Reptile and Amphibian Show and Sale this Saturday from 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Tucson Expo Center. For more information, you can just visit TucsonReptileShow.com. Again, that's TucsonReptileShow.com. And up